guys, it's BT back here again with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing my new chair, the Herman Miller M-Body. I don't know if you guys have noticed this in the videos, but I have bought a new chair. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about why I upgraded to the Herman Miller M-Body from the Steelcase Leap version 1. Both, by the way, are tremendous chairs. They're both very, very good. I like both. That's the only way to put it. So let's just squash that debate right now. Today I'm going to just tell you guys a little bit about the features, how this chair has helped me in my posture, and then we will go from there. So there are a ton of customizations that you can do with this chair. You can elongate the seat of the chair by just pulling up and pushing out. That lengthens the chair to adjust to how long your legs are. And of course you have the hydraulic switch on the right side, which allows you to move the chair up and down so you can, you know, pretend like you're riding dirty and stuff like that. <laughs> the arms of this chair are amazing. They go out, they go in, they go down, and every which way. So it's very customizable, probably the most customizable arms that I've had on any chair before. I like that the Steelcase Leap uh, swiveled in a little bit, but these are actually really good as well. They're very comfortable, they're very light. It doesn't feel like very like they get in the way of you doing your tax. On the back you have a lever that allows you to go down multiple stops however you want to lean back or how far you want to go back you can adjust the levels to that. There's also a tension adjustment for the back so if you lean back it adjusts how fast or slow you can do that. I like to do about medium myself. Now with all the customizations and all that stuff out of the way let's get into why this thing is very good. Why it's priced at $1,000. Now this is supposed to help your posture and that's why I got it. So with the leap, I found myself kind of hunching still. I found myself while comfortable, still kind of being in a position that wasn't good for my back. And so I picked this up and right off the bat, my lower back hurt. And I saw on Amazon, a lot of people were like, man, I wish I got to sit in this chair first, or I wish I sat in the showroom longer with this chair because my back just hurts. And I think it's for a reason your back is messed up my back was messed up so i got this chair and when i did that when i finally like just sat through the hurt for like maybe two or three days my back has never been better like i sleep better when i'm standing in line like uh, let's say a long line or a popcorn line or a movie line my back doesn't start hurting my lower back just doesn't start hurting anymore like it used to so I'm already seeing the benefits of having a great posture chair. Now the upper back of the chair is very flexible as well. You can move back in it and it just flexes to your back, which is very nice. But main thing here is, for me was the lower back. This thing just gives you so much lumbar support. So some things that I don't like about the chair, I don't like the seat that much. I feel like there could be more cushion there while comfortable, while you get used to it. Something like the Leap from Steelcase, it, the seat is just on a whole nother level. So if they could have added a seat like that into this, it would have been amazing. But this one does feel good, just not as good as like a steel case. Another thing that I really like about this chair is how light it is. It's very light, you can move it around. That's another thing that the steel case just seemed kind of clunky to me. And this is just almost like the steel case gesture. It's very light. You can move around your desk if you have a big desk very easily without banging in the stuff. So that's nice as well. Now, another thing that I had to get used to was that this chair kind of leans back just slightly, right? And I think that has to do with posture. If you sit completely down in this and try to sit upright, I can't do it. Like my back doesn't work that way. So I had to get used to kind of like leaning back and having that good rounded lumbar support and game properly. Because you know when you game, you tend to like hunch and ah. So having this and like having it correct my posture has been life changing. So if you suffer from a lot of back pain, like lower back or upper back pain, and you don't know why, and maybe you sit at your desk all day, it might be time to get an in-body. But like I said, find a liquidation place, go on Google, go on Craigslist, find a place, because all it is is just somebody just got rid of this chair from uh, office closing down, or somebody just didn't want a bunch of chairs. They give them there and you get a big discount. Don't buy this chair for $1,000 buy it for about three to four hundred dollars i'd say five max and it's a win-win just steam clean it and you are good to go it's brand new i'll take a couple scratches for seven hundred dollars off but that's just me you can do whatever you want to do 
but I'm trying to save you guys some money. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, if you learned something today, or if you just want to say hi, drop a comment down below, like, share, and comment, or you said comment on this video for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.